What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my challenge of the Elder's Loot from this past week on all three of my characters. So this week's challenge of the Elders had the modifiers Grounded, Juggler, and a Precision Kill bonus. Not a very tough set of modifiers this time around, but let's get straight into my loot for this week. Starting off with my first character on my Hunter for my Elder's Weapon and Armor Drops for the Weapon... I ended up getting the final duty pulse rifle and then for my armor drop we got the warden's rally so the final duty came in at 334 attack and the perks on it were counterbalance and glass half full as the main perks down the middle we got speed reload feather mag and skip rounds uh, the two main perks are pretty solid the middle column is not the greatest but uh, counterbalance and glass half full definitely really solid perks on a pulse rifle so I might try this one out and see how it feels and then for my armor drop we ended up getting the gauntlets and it came in at 334 as well with intellect discipline and hand cannon reload so pretty decent perks on both of them there were 334s though not 335s but still a decent perks on both jumping into my next character on my warlock for my elders weapon and armor drops on the elders weapon I got the Queen's Choice sidearm once again and then we got the keepers cloak as my armor drop for my rank up package we got a shader and we got the soul stealers claw auto rifle so Taking a look at the perks on this one, Soul Stealer's Claw is very similar to a Doctrine of Passing. The perks on it were Send It, Injection Mold, Quick Draw, Resistance, and Unflinching in that last column. So, not the greatest set of perks on this one. Probably a Counterbalance perk would be good. Um, a Range Boosting perk would also be pretty decent. I did get Send It, I believe, on that one. So, if I got like a Counterbalance, that would definitely be a solid drop for that one. Very good auto rifle, pretty similar to the Doctrine of Passing, like I said. For the Sidearm Queen's Choice 335 with a Last Resort and Battle Runner, uh, pretty decent on this one. We got some solid perks on this Queen's Choice. And then for the chest piece, came in at 335 with intellect and strength, hand cannon and shotgun ammo, void armor as well. Not bad overall also. And then we got a shader called Devil Swept, and this one has this reddish reddish white I guess maybe it's the stuff I was wearing at the time I'm not sure but uh, not bad we got some decent drops on that one as well and then finally for my last character of the week on my Titan for my elders weapon and armor drops for the weapon I ended up getting the Bane of the Taken machine gun and then the armor drop was the boots the witness greaves for the Titan so the Bane of the Taken came in at 335 with the perks Gorilla Fighter and a Feeding Frenzy. Uh, down the middle, we see high caliber rounds, oiled frame, and rifled barrel. Not the greatest perks, in my opinion, on a machine gun. Probably a stability perk would definitely be more helpful because the stability is kind of low on this machine gun. And then for the boots, 335 with discipline and strength on it. Fusion rifle ammo, not the greatest perks, but still 335s. Uh, so I'm not complaining. But that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. As always, like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Check out my previous videos from this week on the Rise of Iron information that was brought out by the Bungie stream or the reveal stream that was earlier this week on Thursday. We got a bunch of information on that stream and regarding the next expansion, Rise of Iron. So pretty excited. And I can't wait for E3. Can't wait for more news to come throughout the summer about Rise of Iron and everything that it has to offer for the next adventure in Destiny. So pretty exciting news. Can't wait for more. That's about it for this video once again. Thank you guys for watching. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.